to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, welcome back, Wi-Fi's, to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And click the bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. I would first and foremost like to say welcome Wi-Fi's to season three of The Wireless Woman. This season is the induction into the wireless world order. And mostly this season, a lot of things that I've been chasing around the mulberry bush, a lot of my own tail chasing that I've been doing in the previous two seasons is going to come to a culmination. And as we've been on a journey together to find answers, now we're going to begin to share some of the conclusions that we've come to through exhaustive deductive reasoning you know we didn't arrive here we didn't arrive here on some opinions and hopes and guesses oh no 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 we've been able to draw draw some conclusions and now we're going to talk about them i really want to make this first episode an appreciation post <laughs> this is all about appreciation content because in my off season from last year I mean, the wireless woman has been going now for almost three years. We're in the third year. I started this channel in April of 2021. I didn't go live until August. And then I actually started podcasting in November of 2021. So it hasn't been like a full three years, really even a full two years. But we're in the third year of the business of the wireless woman and in the third season. And... That's been a long way to go. I've had a lot of people that have started with me that are no longer here, people who weren't here in the beginning, but have come in and given even more support at times than day ones. And I appreciate you. But during the off season um, from last year, when I moved from Charlotte to where I am now in Greenville, South Carolina, and you can't say Greenville, you got to say Greenville. That's that's been my lesson number one. That's what they've been telling me. Like, hey, <laughs> they're going to know you're not from around here, which evidently is the thing. Like, is there a set in Greenville or something like that I need to be looking out for? I will keep you posted. But in the move, I've been off for a couple of months now, actually. And a lot of the friends and associates and community that I have in the podcast world, because honestly, to be a podcaster, you need a support group, okay? You need a support group. It's like therapy. And you cannot do it by yourself. Even though we sit in these rooms in front of these microphones, and I know people who do it by themselves. And you shouldn't. You really need sounding boards. You need people that are around you. You know, I have other podcasters that watch my content and bring certain things to my attention that I may not necessarily be keeping track of. So you definitely need a support group of other people around you that, that give you strength, that give you courage to say the things that need to be said, that hold you accountable when you say things that really should not be followed. When you are beginning to create a community that is forming around value systems that people who really know you personally may know that you don't actually subscribe to. So you need those types of people around you. And in my off time, because a lot of us took off <laughs> around the holidays at the same time, which I took off because I was moving and it was the end of season two. Like we took wireless or not nah, as far as we could, I think. And it's really time to turn a new leaf and a new page. And I'm glad to do that with the people who are like me, who are willing to turn a page and say, okay, We've got a whole new blank page. What are we going to write about today? 
but in my circle, my circle of podcasting friends, you know, many of them have been expressing frustration at not having the type of viewership that we saw coming out of the pandemic. Cause let's get it. I mean, people are back to work. They got stuff to do. You know, the social scenes are coming back alive. The hills are alive with the sounds of music. You know, people are back in their recording studios. People are back to their their crafts, their hobbies, their friends, their families, their lives. And YouTube viewership all the way across the board is going down. So anybody who thought they were going to grow a channel right now, they're feeling like most of us feel when it comes to inflation in our paycheck. It just is not enough. You can't make it enough. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What's this? This ain't enough. Make it enough. But for the people who come back week after week, month after month, year after year, and watch this podcast, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you. And I thank you. I don't care if I don't get but 12 views, 34 views. Someone took time away from what they were doing to come and spend that time with me. And I appreciate it because let's be honest, at any given time, there's at least 4,000 other people talking at least close to or about the exact same subject that I'm talking about. And as more and more people come into the podcasting space, you have so many choices and options on which voices you can tune into and listen to. And the fact that mine even makes that list (laughs) for a few, a couple minutes is something that I will be eternally grateful for. And that gratefulness has to be the basis of why we get on here. Even if we're only talking to our 12 friends, you know, we owe that much dedication to you that have followed us here to continue to turn around and put that information out to be that voice um because you know a lot of people that follow me they're like I could never say that like you made such a good point on that I wish I could say things like that and that's what we do we are your avatars in in a way you know me building this wireless community is all about all the other people who are thinking these same things but may not necessarily have a vehicle to communicate that which is why in this new season, I want you to really engage with me in the comments. My commitment to making sure that we can continue to grow this community and grow this relationship with each other is that I ain't going to be wasting your time. Okay. Okay. So the new season is going to have a much shorter get to the point format. Cause like I said, we're not foraging in the woods anymore. We're not hunters and gatherers anymore. We have come to some conclusions and now we can sit down and actually share the meal that we've cooked together. You know, you know, I told y'all about Thanksgiving when I went to my niece's house and we got there the night before and went no food started, went no food cooked. And she's like, I mean, it's just a meal. I don't understand why people be cooking for two or three days. Well, We've been cooking for two or three days, and this is the season where we actually sit down to sup together to really divide the words and the thoughts that we've had uh, amongst ourselves and be able to get to the point. So my commitment to you is shorter, compact content that allows you to be able to get in here and get out with me, but I also want us to continue to grow this community because the largest challenge that a lot of podcasters I know that I've been communicating with is are facing is the fact that there are really pervasive important huge changes coming there's a lot of action and activity going on around us that really requires our attention and our focus it requires us to be taking notes and journaling and really defining who we are as people in our perspective so that we're not getting lost in translation. You know, now, even though we have all these methods to communicate with each other, more than ever, we're we're breaking down in, in the way that we communicate with each other, being misunderstood, triggered, angry with each other. And there really is a PTSD in the community right now coming out of the pandemic where we need each other more than ever but it's like we done pumped up the volume on 
treating each other like dirt and trash and not really having anything positive in our entertainment spaces. So we as podcasters are trying to figure out how to walk the line of really bringing something that is innovative, intelligent, thought provoking and do it like this because as the need to actually communicate and build bridges over these issues that we have is increasing the attention span of people the actual amount of energy that people are putting into consuming the content is going down so one's going up and one's going down and we're trying to meet you guys in the middle and in the essence of meeting you in the middle that's what season three is going to be all about and i appreciate you for coming here to do life in season three with me so until the next wireless episode until the next underground transmission please for me stay unplugged unbothered and unleashed you are dismissed section leaders what is our concept one band one sound one band one sound